uh, the ST Premier Open. Very, very fast teams, Claudio, with um, the Nanjing Forest Police College have been smashing it. They've been so good. Uh, but CYL Australia, you can expect them to do well. Uh, Acker Dragon Boat Racing Club, they'll be uh, brilliant as well. Do you, when you see the races and you see such tight racing as we've had, you must, how do you feel? How does that make you feel? The Dragon Boat Race uh, uh, make the, everybody feel great emotions. First, we have in the water now, we have seven crews. That's mean 148 uh, paddlers in the boat together. We can see this uh, a line um, that now we have, this is the one of the top races uh, of this event is uh, the 500 meter open final and uh, we have the best crews in the world competing in this um, in this uh, final we can't say we will win this race for sure lane seven the chinese are very strong but um, uh, we have uh, uh, macau we have the Australian team, so we have, I think, the Canadians, huh? it's, uh, somewhere the Canadians. So it's really a, a, a race where everything can happen because it will be, I believe that uh, they will do about, uh, I think that they can go down the one minute 50 second. I think that's really Really? Wow, that is, that's building, yeah. Yes, I think they can make 151, 152, but... Uh, I trust that they can go very fast, less than one minute, uh, one minute 50. That is a great time in these racing courts. Okay, well, we'll watch for that. That's, that's an interesting insight, uh, Claudio. We'll, we'll, we might keep you here while this race yeah. is on, if that's all right. And we'll, we'll cross to uh, Rick, who's just getting primed to call this. Now, the, speaking of getting ready, you can see the paddlers there. It's, and we are off. We'll just go to the call. Last race of the day, and as I say, I anticipate this to be a really good race considering Nanjing Forest Police College are uh, racing again. This is the third round, 500 metre standard boat, Premier Open. In lane one, Yarrow River Dragons. In lane two, Typhoon uh, Dragon Boat Club. In three, Acker Dragon Boat Racing Team. CYL Australia in four, Red Dot Paddle Club five. Macau China Dragon Boat Team in six and Nanjing Forest Police College uh, Dragon Boats over on the outside in lane seven. And I would suggest you watch that lane seven because you're going to see, I would anticipate on past performance, a flying Chinese team. Anyway, as they all settle down, we do have, uh, it's over in lane seven, Nanjing Forest, lane six, Macau, China, and in lane five, red dots, but lane five, red dots have fallen off, come back into lane four. CYL Australia that uh, did very well earlier in the piece, round one, and in lane two, Typhoons, Dragon Boat Club, um, fallen off the pace, as has uh, Yarra River Dragons and uh, Acker. Acker are up in third. Uh, Acker paddle very strongly and may figure in the final of this race. But you look at those two teams over on the other side, seven and six. That's the uh, Nanjing Forest Police College and Macau China Dragon Boat Club. They're a race under themselves. They'll be coming down, and as they come down, they are in front. And the third place getter, as we look across, may well be in lane four, taking up fourth position. That's CYL Australia. As I said, they raced up well earlier in the day. In lane three, challenging for third, Acker Dragon Boat Club. So as they go down, it's Nanjing. Nanjing Police, uh, Forest Police. They're going across from Macau, followed in in lane four by uh, CYL Australia. Then into lane three, Acker go back to five, Red Dot Paddle Club bringing in a fifth position. I uh, take that to be it. And then coming back into lane two and into um, lane one for the uh, final places. But as I uh, talk, we'll get the main the places up. They're coming up now. First position. Let's go to uh, the times. Oh, a little slower than you thought. So Nanjing Forest Police College, uh, Claudio, 155.19. Macau China Dragon Boat in second, uh, 155.83. CYL Australia in third from lane four, 157.03. Acker Dragon Boat Racing Team in fourth, 158.28. Red Dot Paddle Club in fifth, 159.48. 
203.4 for Yarra River Dragons in sixth. And in seventh, from lane two, Typhoon's Dragon Boat Club, uh, a 203.8. I'd be lucky to make it in five minutes, Claudio. I'd still be going. I, fantastic race. I got the results, I can say that. Uh, uh, I thought uh, the, um, the Chinese were the favorite and Macau was very close to them. I expect uh, a better time, but uh, I can tell you that this uh, uh, time is only for the courts, for the cold of the weather today, but uh, these crews are for sure able to go under yeah. the 1 minute and 50. Yeah. They did a great race, it was a great competition, and I think it was very fair, the result. Uh, Australia did a fantastic race, we are in Australia, and they did a fantastic race. I thought maybe they can run uh, also for uh, silver and gold, maybe to the next World Championship. Sure, sure thing. Uh, some exciting announcements that uh, Claudio told us about today, a whole list of uh, dates, World Championship dates for the IDBF. And on the website, are they announced yet? Are they? Yes, we can. Uh, no, it's not uh, yet announced on the on the IDBF website, but I can tell you the, again that uh, we will have uh, the World Cup in October uh, in uh, China, and um, we will have uh, um, the anniversary of the International Dragon Boat Federation uh, this year. Uh, 25th anniversary of the International Dragon Boat Federation and 40 anniversary of the uh, Dragon Boat of the Modern Era and uh, in Hong Kong from 10 to 12 uh, of uh, July. And then uh, next year we will have the World Championship in China and in 2018 we will have the Club Crew World Championship.